Another great video that we've done in the past here at CJ Off-Road is we collaborated with our friends over at Susquehanna Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram and we did a full JL Mopar build. And what I mean by that is all the parts and accessories available in the Mopar catalog, we decided to add on to a brand new vehicle that they were gonna sell on their lot. We we're lucky enough to have the opportunity to go there and film and help install all these great parts and get a chance to put that on camera. Now, from what I'm told through our guys over at Susquehanna and some guys at Mopar, this video went straight up to the top, all the way to the late Sergio who ran FCA. So that was incredible for us here to make that kind of presence in this market, especially we're being so brand new in it. This released April 5th of 2018. So this has been two years just about since this has been released. And honestly, it was one of my absolutely favorite builds. The one thing that you guys don't know is that the Jeep that we built on camera here, the red one was actually built for CJ Pony Parts, but it was delayed in the process and we wanted the first JL on the lot, so that's why we ended up with our granite silver Jeep. When we actually had this one, it'd say this vehicle was built specifically for CJ Pony Parts on the window sticker, so that was a kind of neat thing for us to be able to have that experience with them on a Jeep that honestly we should have owned here. So it was Firecracker Red, a little bit more base model, but we got the first Jeep, which was a Sport S. So let's dive into this one and I'll take you through and give you some insight to what we did here and how well some of these Mopar parts have been doing for us. Okay. This was, this was a fun build, guys. Hey, Matt with CJ Off-Road. As you can tell from behind us, we're not in our typical off-road studio. Nope, we're not we're actually down here studio. with Susquehanna Big Chrysler call. Dodge Jeep Ram. I've got Ryan, as well as a brand new 2018 JL. Ryan, can you tell us some more plans about this Jeep? Yeah, absolutely. So we have a 2018 JL Firecracker Red Jeep. We're gonna be using all Mopar accessories today since we are a Jeep dealer. We're gonna be sorting our brand. Matt's gracious to be here today. He's gonna be helping us out with the Jeep. Yeah, you know, I've installed a couple of these products back at the uh, off-road studio but I think I've taken up enough time being on camera here, so let's get started, what do you say? Sounds good. All right. So that was Obviously a busy day. First very, order very busy in day any there. build is to do a lift kit. We're actually putting a Mopar two-inch performance lift kit on the JL behind me. It's a really great kit. It comes with some Fox shocks, lower control Still a great arms, kit. And we're gonna yeah. put it on right behind me. I've installed a kit like this before. It's super simple. Let's get started. Yeah, so everything we did to the sealed was Mopar. You know, obviously we're at a Jeep dealership too, so it had to be Mopar, you know what I mean? We put only things we got out of the catalog. And that little clip there when I was holding the axle I actually cut my hand. So if you guys are ever under there trying to pick up the axle and move some things, the dust shield behind the rotor is extremely sharp. So don't put your hand there, just a little, little tidbit. But uh, no, the, the Mopar lifts are great. We've installed a bunch of them here. We still have some on a bunch of our customers' vehicles. They come with Fox shocks. You can't really beat the price on it too. And you get a cool Jeep crate at the end of it. So that, that works out. So I gave one of their texts, I gave him some crap because I said our video took 11 minutes for me to do a little kit. We were at it for like two hours. He was a good guy. This, this is a fun video, good time. This really began a lot of our relationship with Susquehanna Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram too, and they have been absolutely incredible for all of us. You know, we've done a lot of collab videos with them and really had a chance to increase our relationship through things like this. So it's just, it was a great time. So now I need some bumper assistance. Bumper assistance? I think so. Yeah, just pulling down on some things. You gotta do what you gotta do sometimes to get the bolts in. Next part of this build is actually gonna focus on electronics. But we did the, I mean, we did the lift kit, we did wiring, we did lighting, we did wheels and tires. We did the aux switches on there, which took a little bit of time, I'll be honest. The, that kit is a little bit cumbersome to install, but getting a factory auxiliary switch is way worth it. Way, way, way worth it. Once he's done on the outside, we're gonna work our way into the inside, get the switches buttoned up, and then continue on. I love their lift too. Their lifts are, they, you know, they come out of the floor, it's, they're, they're pretty cool. He's tucking you through a little grommet at the top. It's gonna allow us to wire everything up on the inside and put the switches right on the dash. Along with some of the major components of the yeah, build. we put on fuel Jose doors, some accessories to too. Like it was, this was a really nice build. I mean, I love the Firecracker Red. And plus well the JL well at this point was only a couple months old. So handles, well, some floor mats, floor mats really the whole up. setup. This yeah, this, it was cool. We're gonna add some more strength to the back of our tail. It was just so quick. So we were just like, in the video here, it's only five minutes long because we were just, we were working in one day to put all this on. So obviously you can do it, but everything had to be kind of sped up. You know what I mean? Just to get it done and make sure that we could get it all on camera too. So we had two techs there, we had me there. We were mounting and balancing tires while somebody else was putting a lift, somebody else was putting aux switches. It was really, really cool. It was a good time. The trail with this build, we are installing a set of the Mopar windshield Mopar light lights, brackets yeah. with a set of their spotlights. It's gonna put it up on the corner of the windshield. 
which nice that's different too. Plus some Mopar so Mopar at side. this point had not had their little, uh, their own brand, seven inch and four inch lights. They, the they were actually using Rigid works, Industries and putting Mopar tires, covers on it. So that's brand new. We do carry those. So that's, that's a little bit of change. Tube steps, for the four -door JL. Tube steps the whole works. I mean, this thing got, it got set up. It was a nice, nice Jeep when it was done. Fresh shoes. We got a 35 inch BF Goodrich KO2 tire wrapped on a Mopar Great looking, great looking V-Lock. Yeah, and there's the clothes. I mean, in a day, I was so happy with the way well, that turned out. It was it was great. Build. I mean, it was a great time. Absolutely incredible. I had all these brand new parts. We had never like seen some of these, so we got the chance to check them out and install them too in camera. It was cool. This was a great, great opportunity to work with these guys. And this video has done great. 102,000 views. So. You know, Couldn't be happier. Thank you, for having me, as well as everyone here at Susquehanna Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. To find out more information about the parts we installed today. Or and we carry everything, too, here. So it's like, if you're interested in any of these parts, you can definitely come on the website and just check that out. And you're good to go. You can buy it all from us and build that Jeep if you want to. But like I said, guys, that was a great opportunity for us to really collaborate with another, another dealer and someone in the Mopar in the Susquehanna Jeep. That was an awesome opportunity for us. So I hope that gave a little bit more insight in how that build went and kind of some of the things that we did run into while we did it. You know, like I said, a little mishap, cut in the hand, things like that that can slow it down a tad bit, but we love to do things like that. So if you guys want to see us do another Mopar build or work with Mopar, work with Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep, Ram, whatever you guys want to see, drop a comment below because we have a good relationship with those guys and a lot of guys at Mopar and Jeep where we can get some things going. And if you guys want to see it, we can definitely do it. So drop a comment. Until next time, guys, I'll see you out on the trails.